So Democrats would like to use stimulus checks to illegal immigrants instead of using the money to continue to build a wall. I guess if we build a wall with that money, maybe we wouldn't have so many illegal immigrants. Of course, that would hurt the Democratic Party. But maybe then we wouldn't have to cave, which I don't think we're going to, to sending stimulus checks to illegal immigrants. And if they're illegal, that must mean that the immigration department is looking for them. So if the immigration department is looking for them, how can they have an address by which we can send the check to? How's that happen? Because if we have an address for them, then why aren't they being deported back to where they are? Does that mean the immigration system is broken? <clears throat> or is that a little complex for everybody to think about? We can look at protections for businesses, direct payments to small businesses, small businesses loans made available, maybe even the airline company's aid. But state, state and local government aid that amounts to condoning and paying for and creating somewhat of a moral hazard for allowing such incredibly poor management of city, states, local authorities over the last 30 years, long before COVID, and we're going to bail them out? And do we really think that if we bail them out, we're going to, you know, they're going to fix their poor management? I don't think so. They're being managed by politicians, not business people, politicians. Politicians that have never made a paycheck, never had to make payroll in, a, in their life. And we want to give money to that and to illegal immigrants. Hence a $2.7 trillion bill. Some might argue that the money is for illegal immigrants is nothing more than a project in humanity. And it's a good thing because we've got to feed everybody. Oh, I'm all for humanitarian relief. I'm all for that. I don't have a problem with that. I'm all for feeding the hungry. But we have plenty of hungry here in America, and I suspect that the countries in which they came from still have hungry people, and I would assume that their governments are paying for their people. Money to illegal immigrants is money to buy a voting block. It's all they want to do, and they want to do it quick. They're trying to uh, form some sort of unity between them and maybe the Hispanic community to the illegal community and legally under the Constitution, can they vote? They can vote in our country? No, they can't, but they will. Of course they will. The left is losing their base in dramatic fashion. They've got to create new base. This is a base that they're, they're losing, so they want to replace it with a base, and this is what they perceive. This is not what I'm saying. This is what they, the liberals, per perceive, that this group would be perceived by the Democrats as being too stupid to understand that these people would even ask what party to vote for. So they're going to vote for the party that is going to put them under oppression and social control, similar to where they came from in all likelihood. The old habits of the left, depending on the perceived ill-informed, uneducated, and those that the left believe are dumb and without the abilities to have any common sense at all, it's all they have. Somebody needs to remind the left that it is a new day, and they've lost a lot of the only base that they have because of this 
perception that they have about their base, a perception that they have been operating under for the last 50 years. This ought to serve as a reminder to all of us to think about the Communist Socialist Party being in control of America, tearing down the walls, opening up borders, welcoming illegal immigrants from around the world in order to build a new voting bloc to help them stay in power and to help them in the destruction of the American way of life. Maybe all the other things that I've talked about here over the last few weeks, every morning, is not going to be enough to get you out and make sure that you get out to vote. But maybe this will. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.